In this video, we're going to look at the sensible heat transfer equation for water. This is useful when trying to determine either of the three variables, BTUs, GPM, or the delta T. When you know two of these values, you can determine the remaining missing value. We'll begin by calculating for the BTUs when given the GPM and temperatures of the supply and return water. Remember, we're dealing with sensible heat only. That means there is no latent heat, which involves a change of state, like water becoming steam. All we're doing is changing the temperature of the water and not its state. Looking at this heating hot water coil, we see that there is 200 gallons per minute of water flowing through this coil and the temperature of the heating hot water supply is 120 degrees Fahrenheit and the leaving heating hot water is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. With this information we can solve for how many BTUs are being supplied to this coil. Step one is to subtract the leaving water temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit from the entering water temperature of 120 degrees to arrive at the temperature difference or delta T. 120 minus 80 Fahrenheit gives us 40 degree delta T. Step two is to put all the known values into our formula and make the calculation. We have our formula of Q equals GPM times 500 times delta T. Now we enter our values, we get Q equals 200 times 500 times 40 equals 4 million BTUs per hour. Now we can quickly explain where the value of 500 in the calculation is derived from. First, we have the weight of water at 8.34 pounds per gallon. Then we have the conversion of minutes into hours. And lastly, the Pacific heat of water at 1 BTU per pound degree Fahrenheit. This is what that looks like. 8.34 pounds per gallon times 60 minutes per hour times 1 BTU per pound per degree Fahrenheit equals 500. With all these units, we can see which units of value remain by crossing out those that are eliminated in the formula, such as Q equals 200 gallons per minute times 8.34 pounds per gallon times 60 minutes per hour times 1 BTU per pound per degree Fahrenheit times 40 degrees Fahrenheit leaves BTUs per hour. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.